Chicago League. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. Now here's Wall. Pass to Smith. Stolen by Rhodes. Not sure if they're aware of the two-for-one opportunity they have. Well, they need to be. Nick Roberts' shot is good. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, I mean, they're just getting pounded in there. The defense not offering much resistance. And they've got to force the ball back out to the perimeter. And it will go, and the Bulls' lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Paul George. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. On its way from Rose for two. And it's Humphreys with the rebound. Humphreys has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And Wall kicks to Smith. Back to Wall. A 15-footer. Good. He hits the jump shot. Wall's got it all tied up now for Washington. Deep two from Ross. And no good trying to get that one. And the first half comes to a close in a tie game. And we'll be back for this. And welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. More action in store as the players get ready to go. Having a nice break to get hydrated with Gatorade. And Steve and Clark and I are refreshed and ready to go here as well. A look at John Wall. What a contribution so far. Well, he created a lot of opportunities for himself in the first couple of quarters. And I'll tell you what, he, he was smart with his shot making too. Really took good ones. You know, points per shot attempted is really one of the undervalued stats in the game. And it's a real measurement of efficient scoring. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Well, Wall had a great quarter. 12 points, and from long range, he's hit one three-pointer. Yeah, and you'd expect by the end of this game, I I'm sure the numbers are going to look even better. And on the floor for Randy Whitman as we get into the second half. They've got Paul George. Chris Humphreys is out there with Blotch. Then there's Etwan Moore. And it's Wall in a, the one spot. Johnson gets to McRoberts. For three, Ross. Count the bucket. Ross has got 11 points. The defense sagged off. And, you know, he did not hesitate to rise up and bury that three. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Well, Kevin, Bulls coach Tom Thibodeau worked with Clippers coach Don Rivers in Boston for many years, and they remained close friends, often sharing notes. Rivers said of Thibodeau, he's the best mind I've ever been around. People keep expecting them to fall, but he holds them together. It's his system, but it's more just his way. He simply doesn't relent, Kevin. He makes his players believe, Doris. That's something they both share in common. Thank you. Well, they need a shot or two to fall here soon. They're only one of four since the break. Other than the big offensive struggles last year, the Bulls were pretty much how they had been the last few years. Exactly, Kevin. A strong defense with excellent rebounding and togetherness. They just lacked a little offensive firepower. Ross with the steal. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. Ooh, that was awesome. <laughs> Down below. Now here's Wall. He's got 14. Here's Moore to stop the run. The Wizards with another miss. Tell you what, shooting 20% to start the second half doesn't bode well for how this will play out for this one. There's the pick. Wall again throws. Stolen by George. And the foul called on Terrence Ross. That's foul number two for him. Chicago making some changes. Hill, he's checked in for Tristan Thompson. And Morris subbed in 
for Joshua Roberts. Or Keith Morris. Wall, that's good. You know, if you were only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would be ahead. And it's Rose penetrating. This is the Morris. From 11 feet away. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Morris has got six. Well, the execution just has not been there defensively in the second half. They look a step slow out there. The wall kicks to Moore. Six to shoot. Passes it to Humphreys. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. They have no choice but to lunge for that pass to stop it from getting through. Well, that was a good job. It could have been a quick bucket if he doesn't knock it out of bounds there. And the Bulls making a change here. Levine's checked in. And a switcher also for Washington. Bumley's checked in. J.R. Smith's checked in for more. And here is Morris. Six points for him. Levine passes to Morris. And count the basket. He is fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Well, they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. Well, and that's why they're on this run, guys. They're getting the ball inside and getting really high percentage looks. Each one more. He's checked in for John Wall. Looks like he may have been showboating a little bit at the end of that one. In the corner, it's Morris. And low to Hill. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Well, Jordan Hill has battled injuries, but when he's played Clark, he's been pretty effective. You know, Kevin, last season, around 20 minutes per game, he played with the Lakers. And you could argue he should have been playing more. He was very productive in that time on the floor. He's more a banger than a spread for. He's not a great perimeter shooter. And so the fit with their spread out system might have limited his playing time. Here's Levine. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Oh! oh ridiculous! Tore it down that time! <laughs> Boy, you can feel the confidence growing right now for this club at the offensive end. Really an ideal time to have one of these runs after halftime, but before crunch time. They're setting themselves up for a great fourth quarter. And he'll try to develop his outside shot to better fit into the Lakers' offense last year. But that's not his strength. I mean, where he's best is his ability to use his size and athleticism on the boards and really defensively as well. Here's Rose. No dice from nine feet out. Well, his shot's been off today, no question. He's not the guy they're going to want to look to if they want to keep this lead where it is. Out to Smith. But free. Morris with the rebound. Morris has got rebound number five here tonight. And he was one of the best rebounders in the league. He's a quality defender as well. And he can play some center. So if he can stay healthy, I think he's a guy that can really be a player to watch. Washington calls timeout. Washington's turnaround last year was in part in how they played on the road. Yeah, they went from being a joke on the road, a non-factor really in 2013, to one of the better road teams in 2014. As a matter of fact, in the playoffs, they blitzed the Bulls on they the road sure in, that, in that first round series. Good point. John, here's what Washington's going with right now. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Blotch. Martin comes in for George. And John Wall subbed in for Moore. Well, he hasn't had much success shooting the ball, but it's not too late for him to get it turned around and start contributing. A big 15-win difference for the Wizards on the road between 2013 and how they ended last year. It really was the catalyst for them getting into the playoffs. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Wall dishes to Smith. Outside for Martin. 
Here's Wall. And that one goes long. And in the playoffs, you saw how good Washington can be on the road as the Wizards were able to go into Chicago to get wins in that series as well as take road wins away from Indiana. Here's Levine. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Another bucket in the paint. That's something they just have not been able to stop today. I think it's time to make some adjustments defensively. Clark. I mean, what they've got going right now is not getting it done. Well, I think he was surprised by how much space he had there and just rushed the shot a little bit. Rose kicks to Levine. He feeds it to Hill. The dish to Rose. Rebound by the Wizards. Smith outside. Outside wall. Here's the screen. Again, the miss by wall. I'm not sure about that shot, guys. The defense really all over. Rose with the ball. And it's Martin picking him up. Rose double team. Johnson kicks to Morris. Knocked away. And stolen by Gordon. Off they go on a three-on-one break. Offensive rebound. The Bulls leading by 17. Here's Levine. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Pass to Levine. Shot clock at six. Back to Johnson. Puts up a three. That's good. Johnson's got eight points. Boy, they've come out of halftime and smoking hot from behind the arc. Hey, trust me on this one, Barton. They are going to continue to let them fly. Washington calls timeout. Zach Levine, a bit of a late bloomer. Wasn't a top recruit until he hit a, a late growth spurt in high school. Now he's a 6'5 combo guard. Came out of UCLA after one season. Still a bit unproven, but one of those upside picks because of his athleticism and shooting range. Corey Brewer's checking for Johnson. And then for Washington, Andre Blotch. He's checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Paul George comes in for Martin. And Moore subbed in for John Wall. Rose kicks to Morris. Back to Rose. He dishes it to Hill. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Hill's got 10. And Levine played point guard in high school before his growth spurt. And Clark, to see him as more of a point guard or a shooting guard? I see him as a shooting guard at this point. I mean, just based on what I saw of him in the one year at UCLA. Tremendous athleticism. He's a bouncy young fella. Streaky shooter at this point. And I like his energy level. He's going to be a guy that has a chance, I think, to be a really good two-way player. From deep. Morris, no good. And it's Smith penetrating. Yes. And that one's good. Yes, sir. He's got eight. He broke out the finger roll, guys. That was kind of a stylish finish. Outside Rose. And he gets it to go. Rose has got six points in the quarter. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. And that's a good strategy when you're on top. Now, here's Watch. Outside, George uses both hands to slam it down. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, man, he's got so much power. Here is Rose. He's got eight. 